Hi, I'm Brigham Kendall, and I am doing a presentation on the article written by Jeremy Hope and Robin Fraser called Who Needs Budgets? Kind of an interesting article to say the least. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Budgets should be abolished. Why? Because they affect your culture and they affect your performance of the employees and the company as a whole. What can we do to replace the budgets? We use KPIs as performance metrics, rolling forecasts to, to forecast, and Kaizen to improve. Let's go ahead and talk about each one of these things. First is going to be the effect on culture. Um, sticking to tight budgets leads, leads down a bad path. For one, you have stressed out employees. If they're not gonna hit their goals, they are gonna freak out because their manager's like, you have to hit this budgeted goal. You know, and that's not a good way to run a business, for, you know, for one thing. Um, employees are more likely to fudge numbers, too. When, when they're so close, they're only one sale away. You know, they might go to their, their uh, customer and say, hey, if you buy this right now, I'll let you return it, and I'll even throw in this, this, and this, just so they can hit their one budget that's budgeted for them. Ugh. And you know that goes down a risky path because then you're just you're, you're getting down to where you could be doing fraud you know all you need is the motivation opportunity and rationalization so you already have the motivation to hit your number rationalize well that number's high then you just need the opportunity and you know it already is affecting performance we just talked about how it does a little bit but you know it also affects how much you improve through the year you know if you have fixed numbers people are gonna go to that number and then stop you know you're you instead of growing you know if you have something a number like this then your improvements gonna be like this because people are gonna keep trying to better themselves um, it also encourages hoarding you know if you say oh you're only budgeted 10 pounds of, of cutters this month then and you only need two, you're gonna keep it for a month that you need 30 pounds. You know, you're gonna take up all of the space instead of being able to use the space for something actually productive and, and that can make money. Well, how do we get rid of this? We start introducing key performance indicators or KPIs. Um, you know, these things can be little things that are done on the floor to improve. You know, how much, how much does it take to set up something? How many candy bars can you sell in a week? You know, things like that. And then can range all the way up to, you know, people at headquarters saying, you know, how much are we spending each month? Um, what's our customer satisfaction? You know, just little indicators. And then you, you take a few of these indicators and you put them into what's called a rolling forecast. And this thing is great. For one thing, it doesn't say, you know, at the end of the year, we're done and we got to sell 50,000 bolts. You know, it says, well, you know, you know, what do we think we can sell and how can we improve to do that? And then let's take, you know, the first, second and third quarter. Let's look at them and say, well, let's go five quarters ahead. Um, and then you can take the data of the first, second and third and say, oh, you know, we're our, our machine hours are a little high for what we're doing. So let's go ahead and, and, and see what we can do to fix that. And then plan for another five quarters ahead of that. And then say, oh, we did make improvements here. Let's go ahead and, and see what else we can do to improve. Or maybe, you know, we got to our goal on this metric. Let's, let's choose something else and get to the goal there. The next thing that we're gonna use is Kaizen. And that's where, where it comes into play there. The article didn't really mention it much, but it is how we improve. It's empowering your employees to get the job done, to start becoming better employees and to making decisions to help the company. And this all leads to no more budgets. Budgets can be obsolete, at least performance-based budgeting.